Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story today? Sizing things up. That is going to be the title of today's story. The author of the story is Aparna Kapoor and the illustrator is Dev Jyoti Saha. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. The world is full of creatures and things. This is our earth. It's full of creatures and things. Look here, there's a very large or big whale. There is a big ship on the ocean. There's an airplane that's flying. Some are big. Some are small, most are somewhere in the middle. Some things are big, some things are small, and most of them are somewhere in between. So some things are so big that we know that they are the biggest. Some things are very small that we know that they are the smallest. But when you see most of the things, they would fall somewhere in between. It's neither very small nor very big. So size, we always say something is big or small in comparison to something else. So when you look at a rocket, that is very big, right? Compared to say a tiger. A tiger is smaller than a rocket. A tiger is still a big animal compared to the shape here, right? So it depends on how we see it that we can call something big or small. These are some of the biggest things we know. Given in this picture are some of the biggest, tallest, largest things that we know in the world. So look at this, this is a giraffe. Right? Have you seen a giraffe in the zoo or on TV? A giraffe is the tallest animal living in the earth. Look here, this is Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest peak or mountain in the world. Look at this building. Do you know what building this is? This is Burj Khalifa. This is a building in Dubai. And this is the tallest building currently in the world. And what is this? This everybody knows, this is an elephant. This is an African elephant. African elephant is the largest animal living in the land. And what are these two things? This is a, this is a whale, this is a blue whale. It's the largest animal in the whole earth. It's even much larger than an elephant. And what is this? This is a shark whale, or one of the largest fish varieties in the world. So like that, each of these, they are the biggest in their category. These are some of the smallest things we know. We have seen all these small things. Let's see what this you have seen everywhere, right? This is a spider. Spiders are small. What are these? These are honeybees. Look, there's a hive. These are honeybees. And bees are small. And look, there's a line of what insect is this? These are ants. Ants are also very small. And look at these interesting creatures. It's like there is a bulb behind them. These are called fireflies. Fire, fireflies are also very small. They are tiny, tiny. Look at this bird. This is a, what bird is this? Anybody knows? Yes, you're correct. This is a hummingbird. Hummingbirds are the smallest bird varieties that you can see in the world. Some things look big because they are surrounded by smaller things. Look, 
There's an elephant, tiger, there is a horse, there is a big robo, but they're all very small because this is a child playing with his toys. All these toys are so much smaller and the child looks big compared to these things. Because he's surrounded by small toys, the child actually looks big. The same things may look small when they are surrounded by bigger things. Look now, the same child who looked big compared to all his toys around, looks small compared to his mom. His mom is coming near him and look, he is very small and his mom is big. What looks big from close by may look small from far away, right? See, look at uh, this crocodile. Up close, the eyes look so big. The same crocodile, when it's slightly farther away, it looks small. Things make bigger things. Bigger things make huge ones. Huge things make ginormous ones. Ginormous things make super duper mega jumbo ones. Small things make big things. The big things, when you pile them all together, it becomes bigger. And such bigger ones, if you keep having them, then it becomes ginormous. Ginormous is very big. Very big is called ginormous. Group all the ginormous ones together, then it becomes super duper mega jumbo ones. Very big. It becomes, it becomes very, very big. So for instance, if you have two plants, they are small. Add 10 more to it, it is now big. Add 1000 more to it, it becomes ginormous. Add 1 lakh to it, then it becomes a super duper mega jumbo one, right? So like that. Things are made of small things. Small things are made of smaller ones. Smaller things are made of tiny ones, which are made of eeny teeny weeny things. When you look at things, say if you look at this big building, what is it made up of? So each of these buildings are made up of, they have so many floors. There are so many floors there. Each of the floors have so many rooms in them. Each of the rooms, if you take, are all made of same things like bricks, cement, sand, iron, all those things. So if you look at each of the bricks, what are those made of? Those are made of soil, mud, and all those things, right? So if you look at mud, they are made up of tiny, tiny things like that. When you keep looking at each of them, they are made up of smaller and smaller things. Here, eeny, teeny, weeny things mean really small ones. Tiny also means small ones. Eeny, teeny, weeny ones are smaller than the tiny ones. But even the eeny, teeny, weeny can make a super duper mega jumbo difference in this big, small world. Even small things can make a big difference in this world. Look, here are kids planting trees. It's such a wonderful thing, right? Even though they're small kids, they're doing something wonderful and bringing a change. Here is a kid watering his plants. He's doing something nice. Look, here is a child who is feeding the birds. Such a wonderful thing to do. So even Small things can make a big difference in this world. Let us look at some of the difficult words in today's story. Ginormous. Ginormous means extremely large or big. Super duper mega jumbo means very large or huge. 
It's even bigger than the ginormous. Eeny, teeny, weeny means very small or tiny. Very, very small is called eeny, teeny, weeny. Try these questions. Instead of saying something is big or small, let's see if we can measure things. Say so if you want to find who is the tallest in your class, how will you find out? The second question is, which is the largest bird in the world? I'll give you a clue. The bird is there in page 3 of the book. Did you like today's story? Until the next story, it is bye from Soumya.